Hey, what is good with y'all? It's your boy KAG, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo NX and the fact that it's going to be playing console games as well as handheld games. And the handheld is going to be playing console games, so they're going to be playing the exact same library. Now, with that being said, let's see if we can get that little like button to get 20 likes down there below. And let's hop into this video. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Mecha Geo, who is on Reddit. He actually went ahead and he put a bunch of quotes together, and I figured I'd go ahead and read them to you and then elaborate on them. So, let's go ahead and let's read this now in 2013 Shigeru Miyamoto said we obviously are interested in bringing out new ideas but at the same time we also have our hands full in trying to bring many of our popular franchises to new systems so the struggle for us then becomes how do we find the balance in there and try to deliver the content that people want while also surprising them with something new now as a lot of y'all know uh, the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii U both have separate games they both have separate libraries so when trying to work on games you know one system has to go lacking or should i say both systems have to go lacking because they play separate games and separate games have to be developed for both systems rather than developing one game for both systems now let's go ahead and read the quote in 2014 there are games that in a way take advantage of being on a higher spec machine that plays on a TV and there are games that are designed to play better on a portable machine. But certainly we've gotten to an age where the technology has advanced and it becomes more and more possible to have a similar experience running on a lower spec system. Now this also has to go with the quote where I was saying on another video where I was saying that the handheld version will be the same game, it'll just be a little lower spec, it'll be a little maybe lower resolution, but I do believe that it's still going to be HD, don't get me wrong folks, it should still be 720p is what I'm thinking, it, but it'll just be, it may not be as detailed as let's say the console version. Now let's go ahead and hop into the next quote, and this is also in 2014, and this is a statement by Miyamoto, he said, what I can say is, Certainly, within Nintendo, the fact that our development environments from our home console is different from the development environments for our portable system is certainly an area of stress or challenge for the development team. So as we move forward, we go we're going to look at what we can do to unify the two development environments. And as y'all all know, they actually did go ahead and they combined the both of the environments like he was pretty much stating there. Um, and let's go on and read some more. So particularly, the digital downloads now in the idea that you're downloading the right to play a game, that opens up the ability to have multiple platform digital downloads where you can download on one and download on another. Certainly, from a development standpoint, there's some challenge to it because if you have two devices that have different specs and you're being told to design in a way that the game runs on both devices, then that can be challenging for the developer. But if you have a more unified development environment and you're able to make one game that runs on both systems instead of making, or should I say, instead of having to make a game for each system, that's an area of opportunity for us. And as you all know, what we've been trying to say here is that they're gonna both be playing on the exact same device, let's say, your console games, and your handheld game are both going to be playing the same games. Now, let's go on and continue reading. Now, we got a Japan-based news outlet in Nikai. Um, is reported in January of 2013 that Nintendo planned to combine its handheld and console divisions by February 16th. The combined team ended up being 280 employees, made up of 130 employees from the console side and 150 from the handheld side. Now in 2013, uh, Mr. Iwata went ahead and he had this to say, Last year Nintendo reorganized its R&D divisions and integrated the handheld device front and home console development teams into one division. Like I was saying, they went ahead and they combined both of them. Now, he goes on to say, previously our handheld video game devices and home video game consoles had to be developed separately as the technological requirements of each system. Which kind of leads me to the point where I was saying that the handheld is not as strong as the console, 
but they are very similar spec or let's say the handheld is at a point where the actual power of it can actually be ran on a you know a, a console so you know for example how let's say Legend of Zelda is being developed on the Wii U and it's also being developed on the NX and like I was saying, the handheld will be as powerful as a Wii U. It would pretty much be a portable Wii U. And that's why they're able to play uh, The Legend of Zelda on this new Nintendo NX handheld and console. Hence the reason why we have cartridges and that they have a combined library. So yeah, let's go on and continue reading. So it says, for example... Currently, it requires a huge amount of effort to port Wii software to Nintendo 3DS because not only their resolutions, but also the methods of software development are entirely different. And like I was saying, the the handheld will more than likely, no, 100% be HD, just like the console. Now, let's go on and keep reading. The same thing happens when we try to port Nintendo 3DS software to Wii U. If the transition of software from platform to platform can be made simpler, this will help uh, with the problem of game shortages and the launch periods of new software. Also, as te technological advances take place at such a dramatic rate and we are forced to choose the best technologies for video game under cost restrictions. Each time we developed a new platform, we always ended up developing a system that was completely different from its predecessor. The only exception was when we went from the Nintendo GameCube to the Wii, in which we all know that the Wii was pretty much a GameCube with motion controls. Now let's continue. Though the controller changed completely, the uh, actual computer and graphics chip were developed very smoothly as they were very similar to the Nintendo GameCube. But all the other software required ground up effort. However, I think that we no longer need to kind of effort, that kind of effort in these current circumstances. So when you hear him saying that, you know, that is kind of leading you to believe, okay, well, we know the Nintendo Wii U is not the same architecture as the Nintendo NX because in a previous statement, Mr. Iwata went ahead and he said that they actually went ahead and they redesigned the hardware and that it would only start with the new, um, you know, the new hardware that they are actually working on that this new, like, requirement system and everything that would line up to be able so it can be multi-platformed with their actual devices. So that's why Nintendo NX will be the beginning of this new trend. Now let's go on and continue reading because there's a lot to read here folks. Now still I am not sure if the form factor, the size and configuration of the hardware will be integrated. So that kind of leads against the fact that they will be combined into one device rather than being a handheld and a console being a hybrid but they will be hybrid in the sense that both systems will play the same games in contrast the number of form factors might increase hence this is also why i've been saying that it is potential that we could see some type of tablet type device so you'd have like a handheld you'd have a console and you'd have some type of tablet type device that can all play these same games. Now currently, we can only provide two form factors because if we had three or four different architectures, we would face serious shortages of software on every platform. To cite a specific case, Apple is able to release smart devices with various form factors, one after another, because there is one way of programming adopted by all platforms. Apple has a common platform called iOS. Another example is Android. Now, if you actually look at what he's saying there, you know, you can pick up an iPad, you can pick up an iPhone, you can pick up an iPod Touch. I mean, you could probably even pick up a Mac. And they all are able to use the exact same apps because it's the exact same architecture across all the devices. But, you know, you can still go ahead and download any app 
Now, granted, there are some apps that you can't do because maybe one is maybe a little bit too strong for a smaller one, but generally, 95%, 98% of them can go cross-platform. Now, the point is, Nintendo platforms should be like those two examples. Whether we will ultimately need just one device will be determined by what consumers demand in the future, and that is not something we know at the moment. However, we are hoping to change and correct the situation in which we develop games for different platforms individually and sometimes disappoint customers with game shortages as we attempt to move from one platform to another. And we believe that we will be able to deliver tangible results in the future. So that pretty much goes ahead and pretty much, you know, nails it down that they're going to be multiple devices but they're going to be able to play the same games, they're going to have the same software, same architecture, everything is pretty much going to be the same, except maybe one will be a home console that sits under your TV, maybe one will be portable and you can take it on the go with you, you know, maybe one will be in a tablet form where you can just go ahead and do multiple things on it, just like how you would with a regular tablet. But let me know what y'all think about all this down there in the comment section. If you think it's a great idea, go ahead and hit that like button as well. And if you think I'm just throwing all this stuff up in midair and that it doesn't really make sense, go ahead and click that dislike. It doesn't matter. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. It's your boy KAG, and I'm signing out. Peace.